I'm here with Stuart Oliver's truck. We're going to have a look around inside and out. We're going to talk about the engine, have a look around the cab and what everything does. Right, so here we are in the office. What we've got here, obviously starting with the steering wheel, which has various buttons and controls on. We have one for the wiper, so if we just need one flash of the wiper, it's just a quick flap press of the button and it gives us one swipe if there's fuel or oil or water gets on from a truck in front. And we've got the radio button to the pit, pit crew. This one's a spare button. This one here is the T button, which brings up for me telemetry, which is a stack telemetry system, which I can change channels for me brake temperatures, for me boost, for me speed, for me um, lap times. So they'll come up on the display here. A, rev, a normal rev counter, which you know, sort of uh, maximum RPM is about 2,800. Um, so working in the range of between 1,200 to 2,800. In the middle of that is the maximum bus, uh, maximum uh, torque of the engine. Um, down on the floor, we've got a wide brake pedal for left foot braking. We've got a clutch pedal, and we've got a throttle pedal, just like a conventional car or truck. Um, the reason for the wide pedal is that you're relying on a lot of left foot braking to keep the boost pressure up, to keep your, um, your power up in the engine. Moving under the dashboard, we've got a rear view camera, which is basically a camera mounted on the truck and, a, and that's a screen. So I can see exactly what's behind and within reason either side of us. Um, you do have two conventional mirror, rear view mirrors on the, on the doors, but the camera is the main point we've seen behind. Air gauges, main air tank, main air pressure gauge, brake bias gauge. We have a maximum pressure of eight bar going to the front brakes and then we vary the, the pressure going to the rear brakes by a control, rear brake bias control. So we can increase that decrease as the race goes on. The two knobs on the top are water pressure regulator valves. These gauges here are the pressure that's in the water tanks that's forcing water through sprayer jets to, into the side of, inside of the brake discs. These you can regulate to increase the flow or decrease the flow by increasing the pressure, decreasing the pressure. So as I can see on the telemetry system, as the brake temperatures increase during the race, if it's on the front, I turn up the pressure on the front to give it more cooling. If it's on the rear, turn up the rear and vice versa. On, on these ones we here, we have the intercooler water, which sprays water onto the intercooler and the radiator to keep the induction temperature flow cool on the air going from the turbo through the intercooler into the in inlet manifold of the engine. Further along, it's a conventional start-stop ignition switch rather than a key. Start button, as it says. And then we have here various switches which as it says there, switches the radio on and off. That's for the telemetry, which is switches off there. This one is a spare. This switches the air system on to the water brake cooling and intercooling system. And then this switches it on and off. This one's a crucial and an important one because if you don't switch the water off at the end of the race when the brakes are hot, you get water in one point on the brake disc and it cracks or shatters the brake disc because you're cooling one point and the rest is red hot up to about three, four hundred degrees. So you, you have to be sure to switch the water off before you come to a standstill. Uh, radio, which is just an on off button. It has a display in the channel, which as I said before, you control from a button on the uh, on the steering wheel. So as you, you know, it's push to talk. Gear lever, we have 16 gears. We have basically this switch here controls the low eight gears. And the high eight gears, when that's turned to the right here, you've got eight gears, four positions, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, and reverse to me and back. And then you have a high and low. So that gives you um, four, gear, four gear positions and a high and low in every gear, which gives you eight gears in high, or alternatively in the paddock, eight gears in low. Camera system front and back camera which is within the, regu in the regulations that you have to record the races at all times so we have various cameras I have two forward facing cameras there and one forward facing camera next to my seat then I have a rear facing camera um, for the regulation and also another rear face so I have two rear facing cameras which all record on there or on the, on the um, 
Roadhawk ones, which are uh, I'm doing on an SD card. All the switches, wire, wires and control systems, it's all in the middle here, are all to do with the telemetry and the engine mapping and management um, to, to, to feed the telemetry system, which you know, tells us during the race, after the race, how things are performing. Last but not least, up on the top here is the uh, park and brake, air park and brake, pull down, release, that's the brakes released, and off you go. Yeah, see, and I've been a uh, mechanic with Stuart uh, the truck racing for 15 years. As you can see, it's like a standard road truck engine, but it is chipped up to 1160 brake horsepower. And uh, from there we have a fuel cooler, air cooler, air dry system, fuel filters, water tanks here, air tanks, standard 16 speed ZF gearbox, and then these are fuel tucked inside the chassis here, um, where we carry about 60 litres of fuel, we use 40 litres per race, um, and then we go around here, just a normal standard back axle with a lock diff. And uh, from there, we go the brakes. If you um, look in here, you can see in the brake system, we've got jets that disperse water between the uh, vented discs, keep the brakes cool. This is a torsion bar to alter the angle of the axle to give you more traction where we need it. Uh, these are the check ropes here for more stability on the truck and whatnot. And then as you come around this side, same again, we have an 80 litre water tank on this side, same as the other side, these are the air tanks for the air pressure and that. And then we've uh, another fuel cooler here, and uh, then we have more air tanks, standard turbo, which is a whole set turbo, and everything more or less is standard. And then on the front axle, we have shock absorbers and we mount them in the outer post uh, most part of the axle for more stability on the front end and these are all our uh, solenoids for controlling the water to the front brakes. We put more water on the front brakes so them are the brakes that do most of the uh, braking through the race. The back brakes we can wind the bias off so they don't break as much and then we go around to the front and in the front we have the radiator lying at 45 degrees from here upwards in here we have the intercooler with spray jets to spray cool water onto the intercooler to give us more air power out the engine as the colder the air the more combustion we get out of it and then uh, apart from that it's just a standard truck cab and everything's more or less off a truck but just with modifications